guys, so here I am getting ready to do my measurements. I know this lighting isn't the best. I have you actually in my kid's bathroom. But this is pretty much like the best I could do right now. So here it goes. I got this measuring kit today from the dollar store. So I am going to open it now and do my measurements for you. And for me. So I remember. Don't mind this shirt. This is actually my husband's shirt. It has like a ton of lint on it. And yeah, I probably should have used the lint roller on it, but I'm getting ready to do a workout, so it doesn't really matter. This is my big twin belly from having twins. Whew. Um, while I'm getting this ready, I'll just say that tonight I'm doing the 15 minute intense body weight workout by, um, Pop Sugar Fitness. I actually have it up right now because I'm going to do it as soon as I'm done with my measurements. So, my waist, and I'm going kind of where it cinches in, is 37. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. And then my hips, I guess like below my belly button, is a 40. 43, and that's like down low, like you can see it. Across my belly button is 44. And I guess I'll do my neck while I'm here, I might as well. My neck is, I've got a mirror in front of me so I can tell, a 14. And then I will do my thigh. I gotta adjust this. She was. Oh my gosh, this is gonna fall over. Should have planned better for this. My bad. Got my container of laundry over there. Alright, so my thigh is, my upper thigh, the biggest part of my thigh is 25. And I realize I don't have the biggest legs. My weight is usually, um, I gain in my stomach. I was pretty evenly proportioned until I had kids. So the biggest part of my calf is 16 and a half. And I know thighs can be different sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this thigh too. It's actually a 26 and a half, and this calf is 15 and a half, and then my arms, this is going to be hard to do. I do not know how I'm going to do this. I may have to have my husband do this, but my forearm is 11 and a half, like right around this fatty part. This side is... And 11, so yeah, you can tell they're definitely different sizes. But anyway, I'll do it around my chest too. I've got a sports bra on, so this is the perfect time to do this. I'm also wearing like the most flatter, unflattering outfit right now ever, so. Around my chest is a 43, so. That's doing the measurements myself, so they could be a tiny bit off, but it won't be a lot. So over the next year, we will see those go way down. Let me get this so I can see. Ah, hey! So um, I'm gonna kind of show you this on my thing. See this? I'm doing the 15-minute intense body workout by uh, Fit. Well, it's my Pop Sugar Fitness, but it says Clash Sh Fit Sugar. So there it is. And it's actually pretty intense. I've done one of them before, not this exact one. But like the 15 minutes is intense. I mean, just think about doing squats for 15 minutes nonstop and jumping. So it's like not like super easy. You think 15 minutes, so like it doesn't make a difference, but it does. It definitely gets my heart rate up and I definitely sweat. So like I said... When my kids get back in school, I am going to do more than that. But I really wanted to do this year, um, like, with things that were totally free. 
because I've been broke and I've also had money. So I wanted to do something where you anybody could follow around as long as they had internet access. And even if you don't have internet access, you could get free library movies and switch them out every week. I mean, there's really no excuse for anybody to be overweight. So, including myself. So I'm not giving myself any excuses this year. So I'm about to do this workout. And I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. I still have not weighed myself, so I do not know how much I weigh. I will say that I did do intermittent fasting today. I fasted until 4 o'clock, and I actually had an appointment to give blood at the Red Cross. So I know I get kind of uh, queasy when I give blood. So I went ahead and decided to... Um, oh, let me get my stool. I decided to go ahead and... Um, eat because I knew I was giving blood, but then my husband got home late from work. So the last appointment was at 5.30 and he didn't get home till like 6, 10. So I totally missed that appointment. So I stopped intermittent fasting for no reason, but um, I still ate pretty decent. I had spaghetti squash with Alfredo sauce and uncured bacon in it, which sounds disgusting and I've never made anything that fatty before, but at least it was spaghetti squash, so there you go. That's all I've eaten all day long. So um, I know I ordered some pH strips from my medical spending account, and they should be here any day. And I know that if you try to get in ketosis, um, it takes anywhere from like three weeks on up if you do it right. And if you make any mistake, it can take you out of ketosis. However, if you fast and just drink water and electrolytes, you can get in ketosis in as little as 24 hours where it starts burning fat. So I'm definitely going to incorporate that in my life. And it's been proven that people who do intermittent fasting live a lot longer lives. So um, I'm going to start doing that. And that's going to help with my self-control. And um, I've also, um, subs well, my grandmother subscribed me to Runner's World. And I love to run. I love to run. So I'm going to be doing some races coming up here soon. And I will go ahead and include you all in those. I will um, take note of those. Also, with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that me and my husband are starting, we will go ahead and record those videos. It's going to be really fun and really exciting. And I hope you can follow along with me and do some of the workouts with me and let me know how much you like them. Or if you have any to recommend that are free out there on YouTube, I would love to hear about them so I can try it myself. I... Um, I have really good endurance for somebody who's overweight. I used to play soccer for years, and I absolutely love anything athletic. Love it. It's just, I mean, I think most moms can relate. When you have a lot of kids at once and you become a stay-at-home mom, your whole life is your kids, which is how it's supposed to be, but you still need to make time to work out. However, I didn't. I felt exhausted and beat down most of the time because um, it was just a lot of work. And my husband was in the military, so, I mean, it was just a lot of work when he'd have to leave and be gone, and it was just me, and we'd move to another state, and I wouldn't know anybody. I mean, I always went to church, but I didn't always make connections with people my age. Um, the few churches we have gone to have a lot of older people. People. So um, we're actually looking for a church because we just moved here in August and we had been commuting to my dad's church, which is an hour close to an hour away. And we decided that was too much for the kids. So we're, we've been visiting several churches in the area and I'm hoping to make connections with people my age. Um, and that always helps because, you know, you you're able to um, get workout buddies and different things like that, which is incredible. And it makes all the difference in the world having a workout buddy. Um, for a person like me, because I am extremely outgoing and I love to be around people. So if I don't have a workout buddy, I'm not always motivated to go to the gym. Um, and my husband is the complete opposite. He, I mean, he had a workout buddy back when he was in the military and he loved it. But it is not a make it or break it for him. He is totally happy to work out by himself. And we are just totally different personalities, which is great. We get along great because of that. But it his not worked out so well for me. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because my husband's watching the kids while I do this workout and do this video. So I am going to go ahead and get this done and I will let you know how I like this video. And I hope you guys are having a really great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.